Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, Nvidia's RTX 2000 series gets massive price cuts. RTX 3000 gaming performance and AMD teases their RX 6000 GPUs. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, Nvidia's RTX 3000 series looks to have turned everything on its head. The performance claims are far better than anyone expected, and gamers are responding in droves by flooding eBay with RTX 2080 Ti's for unbelievably low prices. We're talking bids lower than $500 and auctions ending in the $600 range, so basically around half of what it was selling for before. Not only that, but a Chinese retailer just started selling a new Acer RTX 2080 Ti for what translates to around $700 US, and that's with a warranty. Basically, Nvidia's RTX 3000 series looks to be a big hit, and now we know by how much. But first, if you feel like your daily routine wastes a lot of time, why not compliment it with today's sponsor, Blinkist. The app that takes thousands of non-fiction books and condenses them into short 15-minute snippets and you have the option to either read or listen like an audiobook. That way you're able to turn mundane tasks into something more fulfilling. Plus, you get access to all of your titles offline. So don't wait and join over 14 million users today. And the first 100 people who go to Blinkist.com slash GamerMeld get unlimited access for one week to try it out. You'll also get 25% off on the full membership after, so make sure to check that out. Moving back to the RTX 3000 series, Nvidia recently revealed more performance numbers on their upcoming Ampere GPUs, specifically on the RTX 3080, and let's just say it's an absolute monster. Now there are a couple different stories here, but let's get started with the video Nvidia published of Doom Eternal running on the RTX 3080. As you can see in the video, Nvidia is comparing FPS between the RTX 3080 and 2080 Ti. They even do a few side-by-side -side comparisons while rendering the same scene. Now, when we look at the numbers, Nvidia's RTX 3080 gets over 50% better performance in a couple areas, which is unreal in itself, but it even averages around 30-35% to faster overall. And this is the 3080 versus the 2080 Ti, not the 2080. So we're talking a $700 card that averages around 35% faster than last generation's $1200 card. That's huge. Oh, and this was pure rasterization, so these aren't just from a big jump in ray tracing. This is your typical gaming performance. With that said, we do have a few examples of what to expect with ray tracing performance. In a recent Q&A on Reddit, Nvidia's GeForce product manager, Justin Walker, answered a question regarding whether the 10 gigabytes in the 3080 was enough to handle modern games. In his answer, Justin Walker states, quote, If you look at Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Metro Exodus, Wolfenstein Youngblood, Gears of War 5, Borderlands 3, and Red Dead Redemption 2 running on a 3080 at 4K with max settings, including any applicable high-res texture packs, and RTX on, when the game supports it, you get in the range of 60 to 100 FPS. WCCF Tech did a comparison with their RTX 2080 Ti, and let's just say we're looking at around a 40-50% to 50 increase in performance here. It's unreal, though I will say that it sounds like there is still a decent performance drop off when adding ray tracing. Now that's just a guess with these comparisons, but given the 3080's performance, it likely won't matter in most games. Basically, Nvidia's next gen 3080 is looking to be a serious beast. Of course, these benchmarks are likely cherry-picked games with best-case scenarios, so I do still suggest waiting for third-party numbers. Either way, it's definitely exciting. Lastly for today, the RTX 3000 series isn't the only thing to be excited for. In fact, it looks like AMD is gearing up to release their big Navi GPU, as the company just made a big tease for their upcoming Radeon RX 6000 series, which outlets have been using as a placeholder for a little while now, but we weren't sure. That is, until now. For those who don't know, AMD recently announced a new Fortnite multiplayer map called the AMD Battle Arena. According to AMD, it was built for fans to enjoy and celebrate the incredible momentum and future of AMD gaming. Well, just recently, an AMD-sponsored Fortnite streamer, Miss Gina Darling, discovered an Easter egg in the map. According to Hot Hardware, to get the Easter egg, you have to be playing either Free For All or Capture the Flag. You then run along a wall parallel to the phone booth, answer the phone, and then at the end terminal, you type in 6000. This activates a message that says, quote, Something big is coming to the AMD Battle Arena. 
Yeah, that's about as obvious as a reference to Big Navi as you can get. Couple that with the fact you have to type in 6000 and the streamer seems to have been sponsored by AMD, I think it's pretty obvious what AMD is doing. Earlier rumors pointed to an October release for Big Navi and it very well looks like it could be the case. And since we're talking an entirely new series of GPUs, instead of say the RX 5900, Big Navi could be a very serious jump in performance. Of course, as I said before, I'd be shocked if it could beat Nvidia's newest 3090, but maybe something around the 3080 for a better price would be nice. And don't forget that Big Navi will include support for hardware ray tracing, so there's definitely a lot to be excited for in the next couple months. The question is, who will win? So while that does it for today, who do you think will win between AMD's RX 6000 series and Nvidia's RTX 3000 cards? Let me know down in the comments below, and definitely make sure to check out Blinkist. And as always, have a great day!